of you want to do things right. To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. May he's his peace and other blessings within about everybody's presence. Yes. Yeah, he's a peace and other blessings. All praise due to our glorious Lord for this blessing, giving of this word today. We want to thank you for tuning into this program. I hope you've been enlightened with the information that he's has given us to give share with you. May you be blessed by it and the Lord continue to bless you to continue to watch this program. One of the things that we want to deal with this evening, this many times, is the application of the message. Many, many religious people, many times, sit in their congregations and hear the ministers, the man, and so forth, preach to them. And they don't never think that the Lord's words work because they don't take time to just go beyond the hearing of the words, but actually going to live out what they've been taught in their holy books. So many times, people of religion say it's failing them because they don't go beyond just, just sitting in that seat in that pew and just hearing that word. But part of the message that we're getting here from the Lord Most High through his message is that that doesn't take what I'm saying but now go out to live it and apply what you've been taught so that you can know the Lord for yourself and then it can give you sign that it is real, it is active in your life. So with that being said, may the Lord bless with you up, may you continue to watch. Um, Boys and Pumps, deal with your mother. You are two people that I've been blessed to be from the Lord, to be witness bearers to that the Lord's word is real and active because you have arrived into enlightenment. Now, people that are not familiar with that term, those who have been born again of the true spirit of the Lord, been purified through the Christ spirit, the fire, the purifying light, and you'll come back in this life as a sign from our Lord. They said that the relationship that the Lord speaks about through his message of prophets in the fourth time, that relationship can be had, and it can be lived through what you've been going through, and what you have lived and experienced. You know? Well, I think what happens with a lot of people they get so um, really accustomed to going to church or wherever they go right. to worship and listen to the word, and it just becomes words, right. you know. Um, and sometimes the teachings that they have in these um, masses or church right. or whatever, um, the way they the way they deliver it, it, it is just words, right? You know, um, what I realized is that. When, you, when you're born, you have a life that you go through trials, tribulations, all kinds of experiences. Now, where religion comes into play, when you start realizing that there is something, a, a higher person, a okay. higher being, that is really in control of the things that goes on in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you, that if that piques your interest, okay. you know, because you could go to church Seven, day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. But if if Aiza don't give you awareness that it is present, then your interest is not peaked, then you just go to congregational services because that's what people do. Right. But if Aiza peaks your interest and you start questioning right. your world within and outside of yourself, right. then you start, then when you go to the church or wherever, then the right. words become active in you, you right. know, even though they may only be words to the person that's preaching. Right. Once that takes place, that has to take place. Right. Once that takes place, then if you, you know, if I used to put it in you to seek it, okay. then you start take, trying to take them what they, I would say the preacher is giving you a word and you try to take it and apply it to your life. Okay. Once you try to apply it to your life and you realize that applying it is not, uh, um, how can I say? It's not a, a cakewalk. Okay. Okay. Right, not easy. Not easy. easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. then, that, then you'll come into a more realization how real the Lord Most High is. Right. Then those words become um, like food to you. Okay. They become the things that start helping you start um, 
I'm nourishing you. Okay. And then if you, you know, once you start letting them become like food to you, mm -hmm. then the more you want to eat of it. Right, okay. Okay, because it becomes good food to you. Right. Then you want to eat them. It's just like this here. If you have a math problem and your math teacher gives you the answer to for the problem, the next thing you're going to look for him to give you the answer okay. and the answer and the answer. Same right. thing with the words that I use, it says now that are preached to the people. Some of those words is I use the words. So once you apply them, you start living them, then they become alive. Then you then you go beyond listening to that, the words coming out of somebody's mouth. Right. But you go, you're 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 naturally going to a station where you're you're hunting for the words. You know, I uh, I was looking for a way to uh, <clears throat> get into what you're saying because I understand what you're saying, and I'm quite sure people in the audience understands. But but I recognize, and maybe you do too, that she's shortcutting herself to death. Yes, yeah. I, 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 shortcut. You know how you're trying to say something? You just can't. But you can live it in your mind, but you can't just pull yeah. it out to. Where you think that people may understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's all right. But let me say this here. First of all, boy, I say pick a subject. You really do pick a subject, boy. <laughs> this brother here, he's good. He's, he's, he's a good representative, like you know, good host of the show. He uh, he picks some good subjects, and, 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 and I appreciate his information, his awareness, you know, because I can always talk to him, and he can relate back to me. And if it's something that I'm saying that may be over his head, he's he's not afraid to question it and say, hey, <laughs> give me something else on that. We understand this thing. Yeah. So, you know, I can appreciate that and I appreciate the subject matter that we're involved in here. But um, as I was saying, she's shortcutting because there is so much that she's leaving out in terms of, of this process. <clears throat> but she gave me something to deal with. Yeah. And that is yes. this. Much of what they are saying right. may be some of the words of the Lord okay. mixed with some of the words of men who has translated the, right. uh, the, the, the original words of the okay. Lord. And right. they're adding, sometimes they don't even realize, they don't know, they're not aware that they're adding falsehood to what they're to the saying. Lord. But Holy Queen Mother was talking about the living word and you getting the uh, response from the Lord and what have you see. The other thing that she she, she will recognize where, we, where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. sometimes you become emotional okay. and you believe that you get the, the living word because of your own emotions. Okay. You believe the okay. Lord is acting on your life while okay. you're in that church because you emotional. You can believe anything. Yeah. If I believe I'm the most handsome person in the world, if I keep telling myself that and look in that mirror, Nobody can convince me that I'm not. <laughs> Otherwise, right. And I know that's true because I tried it. Right. I said I'm the most handsome person in the world, and I looked in that mirror, and every time I looked in that mirror, that mirror said, "You lying, man." <laughs> 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 Tell the truth, yeah. you know. So I don't like lying to myself, and that mirror don't lie to me. You know what I mean? But a person can actually believe what somebody has told them, and then that yeah. thing will become true. And the Lord is being that it is the one that guides you right and yes. leads you astray. That's true. Right? If you choose the devil, or if you choose right. someone who is not speaking pure words, and see, let's, let's be for real. Yeah, Ministers in all the congregations, the churches and the temples and the masjids mm -hmm. and the synagogues and what have you, they have heard truth. Oh, yeah. And they know that they go against truth. Yes. They said, well, that don't fit our subject matter. That don't fit what our congregation is all about. I can't talk about that. They know that. Mm -hmm. So they serve something other than the supreme being. Yes. And they come out and speak what their colleagues or what their organization yeah. employ them to speak. Because I personally know a minister who got dethroned and taken out of a church, right. a church in this city. Mm -hmm. Taken out of the church a long time ago because he spoke the words of truth in that church about Abraham mm -hmm. and David and Solomon, and he did not promote Jesus over them. Right. And they they 
no, you can't, you can't be talking like that. You know, you got to get out of here. You understand? But see, people who choose Christianity, they want to make Jesus the highest thing. They forget about John. Yeah, John right. was the main prophet yes. in Jerusalem, and Jesus was the one to come to go away from Jerusalem mm -hmm. to look for the lost sheep. So how they gonna make Jesus the main prophet when John was the main prophet who got beheaded? That's right. In the in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and Jesus escaped and went away, and nobody else knew what happened to him. Yes, yeah. from Jerusalem. That's right. And he went and did his job. They want to say he died there. Mm -hmm. You know, and we still wait for Jesus to come, come back. back. Yeah. And one of the signs of that was when the Lord called, they had the people to call Jesus the Messiah. And I tell right. people all the time, don't, religion is not confusing. Right. Man, right. man, put, yes. it all, put the confusion in it. Now, if mm -hmm. he was called the Messiah, and if you look up and see that Messiah means the traveler, That's right. then why would I easily give him the name the Messiah? Which was the traveler for him to, to be the main messenger right. prophet in Jerusalem. Right. And why would the Lord come to Elizabeth the same way it came to Mary, send an right. angel to Elizabeth, to, to angel Elizabeth, and right. an angel to Mary, right. and then have John born first, That's right. and then have John anoint Jesus and send Jesus off to his duty, and then have the greater following in Jerusalem himself, That's and right. then be the greater threat to the to the Power the, power power and the rest of them, them. Right. And, and for them to, to have them beheaded, you know, and right. to kill, try to kill up the rebels, because those are all those rebels who was in the, at the Dead Sea, that hit right. the Dead Sea, because I want Jesus followers. That's right. They were with John. That's right. And they knew what Jesus had said and what John had said. Jesus was gone. Jesus only had 12 followers, 12 That's companions. It. That's it. And 12 of those weren't true. That's right. <laughs> John had them all on people. It wasn't right. with Jesus. So what? Where's the Christians that well, that's, that, that well, that's ignoring those facts? That's right. So you can believe anything you want to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, just like you can believe Jesus is Christ. If right. you want to believe that, when Jesus said that he became enlightened by the Christ, he became of the Christ, right. you know, that the Christ is the light, the pure essence and entity of truth. That's right. You know, the crusher. Jesus knew all that. Jesus said that. You know, I mean, That's right. but what what they what the what the people come, they come and they make the little changes and yeah. people want to believe it and they go by. But see, delivering the message, applying the message mm -hmm. is is a thing that you do from the from the soul of flesh. Right. And and just passing off words is not applying the message. This is what we're talking about, right? Yes, that's right. Because you have people who get up on and, 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 and on the roster, man, and they perform. Boy, do they put on the show, man. Yeah. Oh, man. And they get paid for it, too. Oh, they man. put on the show. They, they do, do the heba jeeba dance. And they get the <laughs> calling. Yeah. They get about 500 amens. And then they say a few words and get about 500 more amens. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the kind and the the, the, the the whole thing is about the amens. And then, that's they, right. and then they got you thinking that amen means so be it with the Lord. Well, when amen right. is, is amen, the that's breath right. of the mind, the supreme breath right. that is breathed into the creation of all things that gives it life of the mind. That's right. The supreme mind. That's right. Men, mind, man, mind, right. ah, the breath. <laughs> and they, but people, don't, they just take what's given to them without investigating. And these things that I speak that sound foreign to people, man, they, they're still out here. They're yeah. in the ancient writings. All you guys do is investigate. Don't be so fast to say, oh, this guy crazy, this guy not right, this guy. Investigate yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't sit back and let a preacher or a minister or somebody investigate. Don't let me investigate for you. You go and investigate. I'm just That's telling you it's there. It's out there, you know? Don't don't believe what the devil tells you to don't yeah. do, do it. Yeah. And now you want to know who the devil is? Just talk truth it's from your soul. Real truth to them and, and see who turn away, try to turn you away. Uh, or go to your minister with another holy book. That's right. And see if your minister can accept the holy book from the Hindus, the Buddhists, the Taoists, right. the Muslims, the Christians. See if they can accept it. If they can't accept that holy book, then know that they're with the devil. Know that they're with the devil because the Lord's words is the Lord's words don't matter who. And, and let me tell you this here, good Christian brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. The Bible is a mixture of many prophets' books 
from Amen. many different lands, from many different time periods, of Amen. many different languages. Yes. So the Quran, the Holy Quran, or the Vedas, or anything that you put up in there, with it is just another book of another prophet. Yes. So don't be so fast to follow your ministers and preachers and priests and say, ah, oh, curse that. That's books of the duck. No, they're the same as the books of the prophets. That's right. These these books are not just books of stories of people's lives. These these stories is is got right. stories of wisdom that give you mm -hmm. examples of wisdom to give you examples of these prophets so that you will understand how to be how to apply this word That's what that we talking about the living word of the Lord. I know for many times people that you know, listen to the audience you, that you go to your congregational place of worship, and one thing about the message the Lord give here. It ain't just about getting a feel-good message. This message here for my ease that sends you out on a journey. Any man giving the word of the Lord should be trying to continue on something beyond them. Mm -hmm. To reach the Lord that they profess to preach to you about. One thing he always stresses up to hear is not so much about the preaching, but it's about being taught, educated. For you to look for yourself to your Lord. To bear witness to what it sends out of his holy books. Mm -hmm. So that you can be a witness bearer. To the message that it speaks about Jesus, the Moses, the Abraham, the lost, and so forth and so on. Their story then their as a history because what they end of those people who did not surrender in truth, what their end was, as well as those who arrived in the light of truth, will follow the path of the way. And the best thing about the Lord sent us here is about following the path. Yeah. Those of religion know the path. Jesus spoke about to his disciples all the time that I am the way and the truth and the life. No man come to the Father but by what it gives me to give you. Mm -hmm. Now there's a way to the Lord in this house. But you gotta follow the instructions, the guidelines, the guidance mm -hmm. that is in the form of the books. Mm -hmm. right? You know, and, and Muhammad, excuse me, just let me say yeah. this real quick here. Muhammad knew about the path of the way exactly. too, right. that which the Sufis talk about, right. the mystics, the yes, saints sir. of Islam, who, who the yes, masters sir. of the people wants to kill because they're true messengers of Allah, and yes. they defy what these sheikhs and imams mm -hmm. and these 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 uh um uh, religious with these leaders, these uh, uh, colleagues or whatever, you know, the leaders of uh -huh. like the kings and the uh, princes of the mullahs, of, the mullahs the, they wanted that because they defy them just like we defy the false preachers in Christianity right. and, and all other religions. They defy them, so they want the messengers killed. Right. You understand? But Muhammad knew about the path of the way. That's what he worshipped under. And Allah right. said, today I name for you the path of the way. Yes. The path of the way is your way of living, your religion, which means the way you live. Wow. I name for you the path of the way. It is the way of submitting to the peace yes. of life. That's what yes. Islam or Islam yeah. means. Right. <laughs> the Peace. Yes. You understand yes, the religion of the peace is salam. Mm -hmm. And the truth, like you said, all the message prophets believe in that same. The same way. Life. Life. And, but that was like the Chinese and Japanese and you know Taos and they said this is the way, the path of the way. way. Right. And, and Jesus said the same thing. But go ahead. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I was just saying I was reflecting on applying the word. Yes. Applying the message. A lot of people don't walk the path. Yeah, a lot because yeah. you know even in our own um, small community, okay. people talking, are so lazy. Yes, yes, they are so lazy that they'd rather come to church or go wherever and sit and listen to someone go on and on and on, oh, yeah, and will not yeah. open a book, will not go and sincerely pray, will not yeah. look at something worth looking at that may have some answers for. They right. want your truth. They don't they want the truth. Their heart to right. life. Right. Okay. And, 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 and then they sit back and say, then they want to, you know, I, I had a conversation with a person. One person was a Christian, the other one was a Muslim. They want to argue. And, yeah. and I'm like, what are you arguing about? To you be your way, because you ain't following your way Thank you. in truth. To yeah. you, you be your way, because right. you ain't following no your way, way in truth. Because if you both were following your way into truth, you would come together as one. That's so right. it wouldn't be no arguing. Right. You know, they want to argue about this is a Christian, the war that's going on is between Christian and Muslim. Awesome. How how can you, you know, tell to show you the ignorance? You yeah. ain't did no studying, because you would know that religion, the truth, 
Right. That I used to give us ain't had nothing to do with that war. Right. You and know? plus, those Christians are not fighting in the way of Christ. Those Muslims right. are not fighting in the way of Muhammad. And they both, those both factions on both sides, are this, they fighting for land, power, money, mm -hmm. position in the world. They got nothing to do with the, the, the grace of the beauty of the Lord's words of wisdom yeah. or the peace or, or, or people surrendering to the peace. You know, yes. they, how you going to call Saddam? A Muslim, a believing Muslim. Yeah. How are you gonna call a terrorist a Muslim? Right. Uh, to make him seem like he represents Islam. Yeah. How are you gonna call a president of this United States of America a representative of Christ yes. of Jesus? That's right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't knew no color boundaries. That's right. You understand? Jesus would not stand up for the Constitution of the United States of America. Believe me, he would not stand That's up right. for it. That's right. This three fifths of a man uh -huh. thing with you know with a certain people, Jesus would never stand up for slavery, mental slavery, or any kind. That's right. This this employment, this uneven employment, mm -hmm. because you choose to, to to say one man is better than another man because he do this job, but we gonna make pay him a million dollars, we gonna give him minimum wage, and we yeah. gonna make sure we keep this case system going where he's the slave, he's the poor person, and he's the rich person. You know, right. and it's pathetic, and, it, and it's a shame how people in the, in the suburbs yeah. will degrade people who have maybe trying to uh, make a better way for their right. life. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. I have some firsthand knowledge of that. You know, yeah. I have a large family, and I live in a nice community, and the people hate me, hate my family because we have more than three children and a dog. Right. And, and, <laughs> you know. If we don't we don't live that white lily, white right. picket fence and and, right. and bourgeois slave to the massa type of life. Right. You know, we don't go to their unholy churches and we don't go to their unholy uh town meetings and, and, and right. try to defend what we stand for. We we believe in standing on the faith of the Lord most high and believing right. that is we're doing the Lord's will because the Lord commanded us to be and live and act in the way that we be, live, and act. Yes. And not be concerned about those neighbors who got mansions and quarter mansions and half a mansions uh -huh. with two people living in the house and greedy <laughs> people that's going, they're getting their riches in this world and they're going to hell. Yeah. Because they're getting their rewards in this life. Mm -hmm. And they're doing people wrong, man. That's serious, man. Yeah, it's serious. Yeah. They're not applying. They no. think they better. I seen something that, um, uh, this on this picture. I, just a small part because I wasn't really into right. um, um, this thing about all about Eve, Eva. Oh, oh, deliver us from Eva. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I happened to look at a part of that, you know, and, and the part that I looked at, she has says made a statement to uh, LL Cool J about how the IRS and somebody else. Makes her a better person because she make more money than him, and she right. lived, and she lived, <laughs> had a better job mm -hmm. than him, and she, lived, and she like stood up to that thing, man, shaking her head. You know how women do that thing. Yeah. And I'm a better person than you. And I'm like, look at that. And they, and he was all behind after this woman. But the thing about it is, that's the way people really think. I got a yeah. better job than you. I got mm -hmm. a higher status than you because the society didn't put me at this high status. I went to school and I got an education. You know, and I got a better education than you. And right. come on, man. Everything has a part to play in this society. Everything, everything, every being has a role. Every person got a yeah. role to play in this society. And if these people were fan was of Christ, you wouldn't have right. no derelicts. You wouldn't have no homeless people. You wouldn't have people living out on the streets. You wouldn't have That's this right. uneven balance where you got a family with 10 children living in a in the projects or a small house right. and a person with two people living in a mansion. You would not have that if this society was about Christ. Right. You know, when the brother, you get mm -hmm. um, enlightened in this mm -hmm. different situation, mm -hmm. um, they always make it seem like poor people are very violent people. Yeah, they do. And, and they steer poor people they, into that yeah, education. They, they, they do. They steer, they, um, they, how can I, mm -hmm. well, I'm trying to figure out how can I explain it. What they do is, okay, just like us in our, in our neighborhood, because we are different, the right. whole thing is, okay, you don't belong here. So they're going to constantly throw stones. Okay. Throw okay. stones, you know, pebbles. Yeah. Right. Pat, 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 pat. 
But then, once you got hit with about 20 pebbles, and you you get mad, you decide to spin down, pick up, and throw a rock right through their window. Pow! You're the, you're the, the evil person. Guy. Now, right, and then they got the, then they got the judge to back them up, the law officers to back yeah. them up, and so forth and so on to back them up and say they're not good people. But see, we got a trick for them. I I've lived in the law. I'm a vet. I'm, I'm a veteran of police, veteran of military, fought for this country in the whole nine yards. You understand? I know my rights. I know my stance. I've I protected people in the okay. suburbs. I protect right. them in Newark. Okay. You understand? I laid my life out for them. So I let them go on and do their thing, right. you know, but when push comes to shove, when I do open my mouth to to to, to the civil law officers and what right. have you, they always step back. Why? Because I come correct. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't live a false life, uh, uh, you know, and they patty wag kicking the back tackle. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Yes, oh sir. man. I hear this something, man, because they've given us this message that the Lord has given down. This is a thing of reality that people don't even know yeah. how real the Lord is. No, they don't. Like they say, it's not about the feel-good emotional trip they've been taking on, but that the Lord is the reality, and it is manifesting to them in this day. They can come to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's unseen. It's always right. present. You know. And just like what we're discussing right. about, you know, how people do you in your home, those is experience. See, right. people talk about things, but if you don't experience certain yeah, things, you then you, you you don't have a clue. You right. you just have to go with someone's words. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's the same way with you not investigating things for yourself. So, right. Then you just, you know, well, I'm just going by what he said. No, so you got to go further than find, knowing what he said. You have to find out for yourself. Right. So that mm -hmm. when you go to tell someone else, you have a foundation to stand on. Wow. Don is about yeah. to go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our gong man is about to hit the gong to let us know that, that we have a minute or so. <laughs> oh, praise the due to the Lord. We got to reward the gonger. <laughs> he's, a, he's behind the scene, folks. Yes, sir. He's a good gonger. Yes, he is. <laughs> Hopefully you've been educated about what the Lord has given us to share with you on this program this evening. Continue to tune in. This has been an I Have Moment, the calm before the storm. We got a minute. We got a minute. Oh, okay. But Sister Holy Queen Mother was saying something. No, I was just saying that, you know, you have to. You have to go and start your own journey. You yes. Know? You have to seek for yourself. Yes. The only way you're going to know whether we're truthful and what we bring right. you is that you have, you have to explore. You have to put your heart out there in the world and you and you gotta apply because if you don't apply, right. it's like you go to church or the master or something like if you don't literally apply yourself to the light, to the path, right. and seek the unseen Lord yourself, then you will be one of those who think the Lord is only on the throne in heaven and you only right. have to deal with him when you pass on. Or or, or Jesus is die for your sins and that's all you need. Or, or the devil is only visible when something you consider bad. Mm -hmm. And oh, the yeah. Lord is only visible uh -huh. when you consider something good. Okay. Good night, guys. Who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you?